Today we talk Facebook marketing, YouTube marketing, yeah. a recap of Do Yo Live from a sponsorship perspective, and I was somewhat subdued. Do Yo Live marketing show. Just kidding. Hey, everybody. <laughs> what is up? Hey. Live from Branch Street in Boardman, Ohio. This hey, is our like, home away from home. Yeah, we're always here. Um, we've come back now, Andrea. You've been on, uh, I, think, I think you have actually surpassed and been the most... Uh, uh, guest appearances by anybody that's been on Do You Live, besides myself, the 140 <laughs> plus episodes. Cool, I like it. Over the past year, so thank you for being awesome. here. Thanks for having us. Valley Digital Services is a year-long sponsor of the Do You Live uh, Digital Marketing Conference, and that program started last November, uh, and we are now in the tail end. We've got about another five weeks or so, so we want to have Valley Digital Services on today to talk a little bit about Facebook marketing, YouTube marketing, some new packages that they have to offer. Yeah. But they were at, Andrea was at the conference, has been around us for the past year, so we're going to get dig into her thoughts on, on all of that good stuff as well. Again, thank you for joining us, Beth, thanks for dropping by, Deanna, thanks so much for dropping by, I really appreciate it. Um, and let's see here, what else we got? We've got a beautiful day outside, so maybe know. we start there. It's so nice. Well, okay, so I went and bought an entire fall wardrobe that I can't wear <laughs> <laughs> for are at you, least another week. Are so. you waiting for the scarf and like the sweater? Are you yeah. in sweater yeah. weather yeah. mode? I'm, I'm ready. The dress I have on right now is actually sweater, yeah. but I wore it because it's a dress, so I'll be cool. So it's best of both worlds. Best of both worlds. And I, and I changed my dress out this morning for a pair of jeans <laughs> and a t-shirt, so I'm yeah. good to go. Yeah. <laughs> Put the dress away. Dude. But we are like it's. I mean, obviously, yeah. a day like today, a uh, great day Beautiful. to have senior skip day. Get over to Mill Creek Park. It's just staring at us, like right across the street. I know. Um, but I have a handful of things to tackle uh, after this today. So I'm going to kind of go back to back meetings until uh, this late afternoon. Same. Same thing here. Our anyway, cool. so we wanted. We, uh, thanks for dropping by. Obviously, uh, the first thing we want to talk about. Andrea, you were at uh, the marketing conference yeah. back in August. What did you think compared? You know, you were you were at year one, uh, came to year two. What'd you think about first up maybe the overall energy and and the platform that went right. on that day? Well, so the first year I attended just as an attendee. Um, this it was completely new in Youngstown, completely new to me, and probably new to everybody. Yeah. Um, such a conference, um, but it was it, it's good to see how. It, how do you grew from year one to year two? Um, year two as a sponsor, um, I thought it was fantastic. Um, you know, we had a, a great lead up to the actual conference, and then at the conference, um, I got to meet a lot of people, meet a lot of you um, that always watch yep. um, every week. Um, so it was nice to meet everybody, connect with people. You know, we did follow up appointments coming here to Branch Probably, Street, yeah. drinking some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and Matt. Matt actually uh, and uh, Kristen were, you know, they, well, Matt came and then, um, you know, a number of people in this general area were, were at the conference mm -hmm. as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So it was great meeting up with everybody. So any, any sessions or uh, keynotes that you sat in that you had some takeaways that you really enjoyed from a content perspective? Well, I was a little bit all over the place because I did, uh, I was on the committee as well. And you had a booth. And I had a booth. Right. So I was a little bit everywhere, but I did sit for the keynote with yeah. Deb Jasper. Um, and that was fantastic. I thought that was one of the most interesting speeches or, or you know, valuable information that I've heard in a long time. So right. I really liked that. I was glad I got to get in there and do that one um, for sure. Yeah, no, she was great. And uh, I was just at a LinkedIn workshop that they did in Cleveland on, I think it was Tuesday of this week. Oh. And incredibly informative. Got to see some of the information again that was presented at Duyo. Got to sit in that LinkedIn workshop, which was really amazing. And you know, I really appreciate what they do um, because when I when I do kind of like my keynote or my presentation on the state of digital, you know, I have like a similar presentation style where I have 75 slides and people are like they're really worried about it, but I, I just kind of chop yeah. through it, you know, right away. Um, and I and I liked what she had to say. She had a story. Yeah. She's got to tie back to the area. So yeah, yeah she was it very out good. all around, and that was cool about the slides. You know, if you're engaging people, they don't care how many slides you have. Correct. You know, you could talk forever and ever as long as it's moving. Which, by the way, <laughs> if you want to see a slideshow presentation next Thursday at noon, I'm doing a webinar 
on how Web 2.0 marketing is dead. We need to start thinking about building networks online. And I'm not just going to tease that now. So you could go and subscribe to our email newsletter. You can find that a lot of different places uh, on our Facebook uh, page as well about what that webinar is going to be about. But in any, ca any case, we're kicking off the fall webinar series. And Valley Digital Services, if you subscribe to our newsletter, has a little... Uh, uh, has their logo next right at the bottom. So they are a sponsor of, of that webinar, which has um, you know, obviously been great. Uh, in any case, let's, uh, so that's good. I'm glad that you had a great experience yeah, at Do You Alive, connecting with people afterwards. I was at a thing yesterday at Hollywood Casino for the guy that did our, bag, uh, our bags, um, and there was a lot of Do You Alivers there, so it was good to, to be there fist bumping and high fiving yeah. people. I went to the ladies' night out at Tippy Canoe Country Club last night. So Did you? How was it? There. It was great. I yeah? loved it. I mean, I saw a lot of people, you know, that we work with. I saw Tracy from Salt Sensation. So hi, Tracy. Cool. Um, but you know, everybody was there. It was. There were a lot of women there. <laughs> a lot of people. It was pretty. Jammed, a lot of estrogen in the room. Yeah, that's not a bad thing. Could a guy go? Probably. You know who I think could go who's watching right now? Who? Ralph Fajak. Ralph Fajak. <laughs> yeah. He could totally, <laughs> he could totally right crash there. it. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Exactly. He would have his own little table probably and set up and talk to people. Probably. But it was great. It was fantastic. So shout out to 850 Blues and, and their fantastic work there planning that whole event. And everybody was there. I stopped at every year. So. <laughs> That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. So let's get into talking a little bit about Facebook. You know, there's been some recent, every month, you know, there are just, and part of the reason why Do You Live can exist is because the, the digital landscape changes at such a rapid pace on a consistent basis. Mm -hmm. um, the message of marketing doesn't necessarily change. We all want to tell an interesting story, create awareness, bring value. And so Facebook in August had a number of changes that came to the platform. And in September, you know, they just announced another 15 changes that, you know, some of them are kind of insignificant. Um, you know, some very subtle things like, you know, they now you can now uh, get a portion that says movies, and you, there's actually all these live channels that they're uh, certified accounts that they're showing. Um, you can actually they're doing kind of a uh, almost like a meet up, connect with people. So you've always been able to see who's nearby you on Facebook. Right. But now they give you a message saying, "Do you want to meet up with so and so?" Which is a little bit. Um, uh, 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 freaky, like weird, <laughs> like no, I Intrusive. don't want to meet up with you. Yeah. Um, well, hopefully that person can't see that, right? Yeah. You decline. Decline. They don't. Do but in any case, <laughs> one of the ones that you know, so we're gonna dig in. We're gonna dig into these a little bit further um, in the month. Um, and next week, actually, we have a meetup, a digital marketing meetup at Gordy's, and I think that we capped it at 15 seats, and those are all sold out. But we're gonna be. Meeting a person for networking, you, you can still come if yeah. you've not signed up, of course. I just come hang out. And Anyway, we're going to dig in, I think, next week to the depth because I'm still evaluating a lot of these changes. Mm -hmm. But one of them is significant for you sitting here right. is that from a sponsorship perspective, there's a different way of looking at branded content. So now when – and not many people are doing this, by the way. So not many people are doing the sponsorship thing and the branded content thing right. on their Facebook channel. So we're pretty early with this. Yeah. But when we have you on moving forward, we have to say that we are with Valley Digital Services. Mm -hmm. And what it also does is not only that, it gives me an option and will give you an option to boost this post to your channel as well and gain your audience. So it actually acknowledges that you're a sponsor, but it also gives you an opportunity to do something with it. Right. So it's exactly. actually a pretty cool thing. Yeah, and I mean, these are a lot of the little things that are going on that we notice, but not everybody else notices. So that's why, you know, we always tell people, we're here to help you out. These things change. I, you know, any client I meet with, I say, these change every single day. Yeah. Um, you know, I can think something is one way one day, I go in and it's completely different. Because um, changes aren't always announced. Um, so no, you, you kind of got to be in the know. You have to know what you're doing, and or you can subscribe to a platform like Do Live, and like <laughs> we cover those changes exactly. when we can. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, let's let's dig in a little bit about the context. So Valley Digital Services, Andrew DePaulo, year-long sponsor of Do Live. Uh, we've currently opened up our 2018, 2017, 2018 uh, year-long sponsorships um, as well, and and we'll announce those on November 1st. We're at Branch Street in in Boardman, Ohio. Um, Let's talk a little bit about the context of the services that Valley Digital Services yeah. provide and also some of your parent 
uh, companies as well. Yeah, so um, Valley Digital Services, for anybody who doesn't know who we are yet, which I hope you do, um, we are the digital services marketing arm of WFMJ TV and The Vindicator, um, our print partner. Um, so we offer the full suite of everything. Um, so, you know, we like to give full campaigns. We don't want to just give one piece of a campaign. Yeah, everybody, you know, wants to be on TV, but, you know, are you being seen on digital? Are you being seen in paper? You know, those are all still valuable assets and, you know, accompaniments to a full marketing plan. Um, so what we're doing here in Valley Digital, um, we've, we've had a great success, a lot of um, targeting options. That's what people want. They want to target that exact audience. So we have the means to do so, um, whether it be through um, just regular banner ad retargeting, um, or we have right now, um, we are offering um, a Facebook and YouTube video bundle marketing package. So we can do it for 15 days or 30 days. Okay. It's based on video, um, which we know video is huge. Facebook likes video, Google likes video, so. Okay. Um, so who is, who is, and that is correct. So I will tell you that just from our, surely our perspective of just wanting to commit to the strategy of doing video on a consistent basis, we've had almost 180,000 views of video over the past 12 months. Right. But not everybody has the ability to be able to either want to be, put themselves in this exposed light or even, you know, we've, we create, um, you know, we create some of our, you know, our own videos as well. Um, but let's start there. So yeah. if, if I'm a business and I don't have the ability to be able to create a video, what can you do for me? Well, there's multiple options here. So since we are connected with the TV station, we have a whole production department that can help create a fantastic looking um, video for you that you can use on TV, you can use on websites, you can use um, on Facebook, YouTube for targeting. Um, so we have you know, a great team that works there from script development all the way to the end where we edit the video. Um, the other option we can do is um, what we call infographic style. So we use a lot of pictures, we use a lot of graphics. Just depends on what, what you're looking for and what you need. Um, but what's really important is that you can get this one video done or two videos done um, and you can use them everywhere um, to, to spread the message. So that's why our Facebook and YouTube bundle that we're doing right now is so important. We want to give everybody a you know a taste. Here's what we can do. Here's, here's how video works for you. Here's how it works for um, reaching the people you really want to reach. And so if I come to you with my own video, that's mm -hmm. fine too. Yeah, we can do that too. Um, you know, if you have a video, we optimize it and then we, we use it for the bundles or we use it for however okay. you, know, you want to use it. So now let's talk a little bit more about the bundle. So, mm -hmm. so that all of you know, I mean, obviously you're dialing into the Do Your Live Marketing Show. Face Facebook is basically rewarding people that are willing to go live on video and recorded video as well. Um, because we know that even high quality pictures at this point are not being seen on a consistent mm -hmm. basis. And if you're not willing to invest into Facebook from a spend perspective, you're still going to be have a, a significantly limited opportunity to get your content right. in front of people. So when you say bundle, what exactly are, are we bundling together and what are we getting? Um, so we are bundling Facebook ads and YouTube ads. Okay. Um, so this is different. I know you know everybody who owns a business who has a Facebook has a boost button um, on their Facebook. This is completely different. This is more targeted. Um, you're able to use more robust um, videos. You can use videos, pictures, more information, um, and like I said, more targeting options to get those exact people you're looking for. Gotcha. Um, so. You know, it includes both of them. Most of the time, we usually only do one or the other, um, but now we're offering, you know, to do both at one time for either the 15 or 30 days, and we'll get it out there everywhere. I mean, YouTube, um, I think, is number three or four in search engine right now. You know, people search on YouTube to find what they're looking for. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it is. It, it absolutely has the second most searches on the web next to Google as the second largest search engine in the absolute entire world. Mm -hmm. And Facebook, too. Facebook is used as a search engine. I know I do it all the time. You know, if I'm looking for something, that's where I'm going to search. So um, we can pull those people who are searching for you all over, you know, Google, YouTube, Facebook, and show them your ad. Do you do, when you do something, when you do a YouTube search and learn how to do something, do you hit the play button and then have to bring it back and hit the play button and bring it back? I'm just a slow learner. No, <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> I do. Like, I, 
if I'm cooking something or I want to make something or recipe or um, there was a certain knot on a tie that I wanted to learn how to tie a few years back. That I can see. So I had to like go back, and you know, by the way, that's one of the most viewed videos on YouTube is yeah. how to tie a double Windsor, right? Yeah. And so like, um, I had to go back and rewatch that like a bunch of times. Yeah, um, I can see that. Because I was like, I, I don't know how I do it. And so the funny story is in, in, in my house, my dad, like most kids, most sons, I learned to tie my ta my tie from my dad, and like every time you look in the mirror, you know, you're like, oh, I'm gonna tie that tie the tie my dad taught me. But then, I wanted to tie a, 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 a I wanted to tie a different knot, so I looked on YouTube, and now every time I look in the, the mirror and I tie that that knot, I think of YouTube. Yeah, that's where you learn how to do it. <laughs> YouTube so, is great; it's very resourceful. Yeah. I mean, you know, for me, I guess I do the makeup tutorials. Okay. Um, but anyway, time. but even though I digress and I take us yeah. off the beaten path, yeah, yeah, yeah. so. With the YouTube video, with the YouTube bundle package, I understand the Facebook option that you have. You're going to help people get more, more specifically targeted in their geography by the demographics that they of an audience that they want to hit. You're going to be able to produce video uh, for them, which a lot of people struggle with um, content-wise. Yeah, and that's another thing. You know, we. We have a full team that works on that, so you tell us your message and we help create that because you can run ads all you want, TV ads, you know, digital ads all you want. If the creative isn't strong in getting your message, people aren't going to relate to it. Right. Um, so you need to make sure you're, you're creating something that has your message in there. So now on YouTube, on YouTube, is it, um, are, are you, are you doing some pre- uh, roll advertising yes. videos with YouTube is that part of the bundle package? Yes, yes. Okay. the pre roll is included in there. Um, we do also offer um, what we call like in in display or in search ads. So whenever you do a Google search and you see the little YouTube video come up related to your search, we do that as well. I really like that. That mm -hmm. that to me is a very interesting, most beneficial. Um, <gasps> <laughs> we have a geo live crasher walking in right now. <laughs> Somebody get a coffee in here. Come on over. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this requires uh, an announcement. Ca ca cameo appearance <laughs> of, of, by Mr. Ralph Stay Sassy Fajak. I didn't know you guys were here. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I just came here for coffee. What's up, brother? What's up, man? Give me a kiss. No, you. <laughs> Doesn't want it from me. Oh yes. Oh, uh, you know what though? Listen, I got I got to give it to this guy a little bit. I'm surprised you're not moving your office today. Sure, dude, no, I, I, you know that? I'm Are going not, between offices you're not right move, now. You're not moving filing cabinets or anything like that today. You, you're. I'm going between offices. Oh, you're between. I got you're between. Canceled, so I'm going there now. Stop. Stop then. Stopped in to say hi. I just want to say hi. I to you am guys. so glad. Like more people need to do this. Like I don't know, so I, I don't know if I'm sweating or I have <laughs> greasy skin. I think it's greasy skin. Well, you know, you know what it is. So, oil, oil. so Andrea had set the set the bar for appearances on the Do You Live Marketing Show. Now with this cameo appearance, I think yeah, you've I now just tied the record. Say, he heard that. There you go. He yeah, that's right. I can't, I can't lose. So down. this is amazing. <laughs> We've got Mr. Ralph Fajak in the building. Valley Digital Services, our year-long sponsor. Andrew awesome. DePaul and I she does awesome stuff. At Thank Branch you. Street, talking marketing and all sorts of fun stuff. So Ralph, what's been going on, man? Yeah. What's up? Uh, first day of fall today. Right. One day closer to spring. Which feels like, by the way, it feels, oh my like, God, yeah. it feels like it, right? Well, one day closer to spring. That's how I look at it. Okay. I'm blowing through, right through winter. I'm not even worried about winter now. So like one day that. closer to spring. One day closer yeah. to spring. Yeah. Yeah, that's my motto. Okay. Yeah, and uh, what's, not trademark. what's going on? Well, is Stay Sassy trademark yet? Shh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody takes it, I'll tell. No, go ahead. Oh, sorry, go ahead. What's going on? What, what? So what's going on with your Instagram game? Like what's uh, what's good there? You've been well, you've been posting regularly. What's up? Posting regular. Okay. Yeah, po posting regular. I like the. I'm a foodie guy, as you guys know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. I, I was going to do a fitness vlog, but nobody would believe me. <laughs> so, but you, were, you were at the gym last I night. I was at the gym. My legs were sore, though. I was, I, you know, just a little bit about that. Yeah, you know, I'm 55 years old. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No. Yes. So My birthday's October 2nd. Oh, your so, birthday's coming up. Yeah, coming up. Yeah, I'm a Libra. Very affectionate, well-balanced. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. I don't know. One out of the two ain't bad. But, uh... <laughs> 
No, but uh, so I was at the gym yesterday and I rode the bike on Tuesday. Like I, I did 10 miles, I did level 10, 11, 12. So my legs were so burned out. I think I need like, I need information for like vitamin supplements or should I take proteins or should I, I, that's where I need some help. I mean, I used to be a competitive bodybuilder. Okay. I couldn't but, even believe that. But yeah, yeah, that's all I did though. That was, yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, I was, yeah, I don't know where it went. <laughs> it stayed in pictures. But uh, but I, I think as you get older, I think our muscles get ripped down and I don't think we get enough nutrients to re, you know, to build them back up. So I was at the gym yesterday and I got on the bike and I'm like, I'd rather fight Mike Tyson bare knuckle than do this ride right now because my legs were hanging bad. They were hanging bad. But yeah, I, I, I'm trying to get back into it. I think as we get older, you know, I think it's not so much building muscle or anything like that. It's heart. It's heart health. You know, I think it's heart health. Yeah. So if you do something, everything, right? And if you do something, it's better than nothing. Yeah. And, you know, and mental health too. Oh, I'm, I'm, I, I'll never have that. He's gone. I'm gone. So listen, here's the deal. And both of you are invited to come. Yeah. Um, not to the live, but to Where? Studio Oxygen, Aug October 6th, will be on the Do You Live Marketing Show. Is that where you do yoga and stuff like that? I went one time. Bad. You did? <laughs> did you? How did you feel? Yeah. You did so yoga? They, do a, they have an amazing special. So we're going to go out there and do, um, do a Facebook Live on October 6th. Sabrina is a former Do You Liver. She has a seven-week-old baby, so she had an excuse not to come this year. She wasn't moving her office. <laughs> but um, I signed up to go to Unlimited Yoga. They have a, a special of 30 days of Unlimited Yoga for like very reasonable price. Like, I think it's like 30 bucks. And I wow. went one time to Power Yoga. And they power Yoga. And they didn't see me the rest of the 29 days. Oh, my God. What is the Power Yoga? <laughs> start at Power Level. I could barely touch my toes, so, so getting into the hot Power Yoga room, I sweat like... <laughs> So they put, like flexible, a, huh? they put like a hundred pound weight on your head to push it down to your toes? Is uh, that they like would power have, yoga? They had blocks underneath my butt and like, but see, I need that too. I can't, I'm not flexible. I'm not flexible, I'm not flexible. but I will tell you that their, their studio is amazing. Um, and after we do that show, we, we should, we should sign up and it's good. It's like physical and it's mental and it's, it like clears your mind, man. It's like, it's, I want to wear leggings. <laughs> Dude, right? This flash dance. This is we not a flash pictures. dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pictures of that. We're leggings. Oh my god. I can get him. This is not. This, you get the headband. Yeah. If you do that, the fifty-six long leggings. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with them. I think they make them. I think I have to get them from Russia. Yeah. But I think they make those <laughs> big leggings. I the oxygen cells. Olivia Newton-John. That's who I was thinking of. Yeah. The, she's Olivia like Olivia Newton-John. Yes. Yeah. I'll be John Travolta. So anyway, we got that. Go, we've got that going on awesome. on September 29th. We're heading over to uh, Gordy's. We'll Love do Gordy's. we'll do a Facebook Live there. We've got a meetup uh, afterwards, talking some digital marketing stuff. I'm going to lead the discussion. Um, we're putting those back on the, onto the menu here, and we'll we'll get together once a month. Everybody's welcome to come. Um, How about if everybody does go though? There's like 72 million people there. That would be amazing. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's Just create that. that big problem. Ooh, yeah, Just yeah, move really. it outside. Yeah, move it outside. Yeah. <laughs> Ralph and Yoga Pants, Deanna Facilla would like to see you in Lulu Lemon. That would be even better. Than <laughs> Deanna, what color do you think would <laughs> accent me? I, I'm thinking like a, like a fuchsia or what is that other, that um, Tiffany Blue? <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany Blue would be nice. How about butterflies the, in all the right places? Yeah, What's yeah. amazing is that you know these. Your sensitive know, side is like, coming out. I had I have sisters, so that's uh, a, you know yeah, I, yeah I'm a, I'm Hot a, thing. a so so let's talk a little bit about your Facebook game. How's that going? How's the company page coming along? Company page is great. I do like I said I do a lot, and everything's regulated more so you know like in my business. But yep. you know the company page I do a, I love LinkedIn. You know we have a LinkedIn service. I have about nineteen hundred people that follow me on LinkedIn. Okay. I put, I put uh, uh, e uh, uh, company messages company over. messages out all the time, and I tie it to my company Facebook messaging. Okay. So, you know, that way, then when I get something really interesting on my Facebook business side, then I share it to my personal side to get more views or whatever. But Make sure we all see. Yeah, but it's, you have to stick. You have to do that in, in, in this world. You guys are, I mean, this is the, you guys, millennials or whatever, but, you know, you have the whole. He's so gracious considering me a millennial. I'm <laughs> way out of the demographic. Well, I don't know even what, I'm a baby boomer for God's sake. I don't know what the heck that means. I'm was, an angry Gen Xer. Gen, oh, okay, that's right, Gen X. Okay, yeah. and you're a I'm millennial. I'm technically a millennial. No. She is. I don't, She's very millennial. She'll text 
she'll on her voicemail it says if you leave a message I, I can I can te- text, text you back yeah. or text, Snapchat text you back. You. yeah she'll text Whichever you back you yeah. Do. Yeah. if you leave me a message I'll Snapchat I'm not going to call you I'm just going to text you but everything's going good with that and it's like you just need to do it in business and this whole thing it's it's I look at my personal Facebook as fun. I like it, you know, I like it's fun. Except sometimes, like, you'll get people from different countries private messaging wow. you and stuff. It's kind of weird. You know, like, I, this person wants to be a friend and they have a one picture and it's yeah. like, you know, it's like kind of weird. Yeah, but it's just strange stuff. That that has been cropping up a little bit more yeah. recently. Yeah. And, you know, what's interesting is we were talking about, you know, we started the show with some changes to Facebook. And one of the reasons why that they have to really get on top of how advertising is working because of the fact that, um, you know, early, early on in Facebook, and I don't know if you recognize this or not, but there was, there was this propensity for adult content to be solicited in your right-hand side newsfeed on a pretty consistent basis. I never saw that. Me either. I, Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> so they had to make a decision early on. Are we going to allow adult con- – is this going to be an adult content site or not? And they start to eliminate that. Yeah, because, that's probably a good thing. Because they're recognizing now, too, with the type of advertising that's going on. I mean, look, in, in 2015 to 2017, there's 400 accounts, pages uh, um, out of the, – the, there were ads being run, $100,000 worth of advertising from Russia on Facebook's mm. platform. Now, you could look at that in a couple of different ways. Mm-hmm. Um, why Russia was the only one running ads during the presidential election and nobody's looked any further than that is beyond my wildest imagination. The, but the fact of the matter is that Facebook and all their sophistication just figured that out now mm-hmm. after the fact. I, I after have a, they get all their millions of dollars in revenue. Yeah, I have a hard time believing that. But the, the long story short, they want, to, they want the platform to deliver good information. Um, so there's a lot of changes you know, that come along with that to stay up on um, from an advertising perspective um, you know want to eliminate bad content so these solicitations from these people that have one friend in Singapore right right or maybe you're just big in Singapore and you don't recognize <laughs> it. I'm, I'm like Godzilla I'm over there you know I'm six foot five. Oh my god you would be like yeah. Godzilla, I'd be like Godzilla. Yeah. yeah yeah that's what they like <laughs> well hey guys I gotta get going. Oh, you did? Yeah, I gotta. I gotta yeah, I, I. I just saw that. I was just gonna message. Just, I have to go to the other office. Thank you for dropping by. I gotta get in my car and drive, sassy. You know. Give him a honk if you stay sassy. Yeah, yeah. Give, Give me a little, a little honk, honk. every once in a while. Hashtag but, Stay Sassy Wide Town. You'll find him on Instagram. He's bringing good stuff to your day all the time. Bringing good things to light. Oh, and, wait, and being that we're now. we're one day closer to spring, spring you're gonna want to follow this guy through the winter because. He wakes up on Monday mornings yeah. in a great mood, even yeah. when it's snowing out. You and you're going to want that. Well, this, and this <laughs> I year, wake up some mornings, I'm like, Rob, this year, how do you do? I do it because it's oh. insane. No, this Listen. year, there's a huge surprise that I'm going to do. In the snow, in the deep snow. <laughs> so just be prepared. All right. I already have it. I, you know, it may include pink Lululemons. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Peace. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Love see you, yous. buddy. Love you. Love thank, yous. thank you for Have stopping good, by, okay, Rob. We really yeah. appreciate it, man. All right. Does this shirt make me look fat? No. It's it's Tiffany, Tiffany or is it my stomach? It's Tiffany Blue. <laughs> Tiffany Blue. Okay, guys. Continue. See ya. Go. Bye. Bye. All right. Anybody else want to make a cameo yeah. appearance? Drop in. Drop on by Brand Street. We're with Valley Digital Services, year-long sponsor of the Deal Live Digital Marketing Interactive Design Conference. And uh, we are right now, we are in a call for speakers for 2018. Oh, yeah. So if you want to speak... We're looking for marketing, business, sales, design professionals, creatives, um, everything from Facebook 101 to sophisticated uh, lead gen strategy, LinkedIn, um, how, you know, how creative writing process, all those sorts of things. So you can find that on our, our website at doulive.com and uh, submit to speak. We would love to, uh, you know, we'd love to, to take a look at your speaker reel. Um, see what you think. We're going to give you some more additional details on that coming up over the next few weeks. But anyway, getting back to YouTube. Yeah. Um, so, so you do some pre-roll stuff, but you also do some of the 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 talk about the the the, the ad 
that you mentioned. That that's an interesting thing that I don't know if a lot of our people fully understand um, what um, that means. Yeah. So if you're doing a Google search, um, we can you know put a little money behind your YouTube video and have that come up in search um, as a result for you. Now it's a little different than Google Ads, which most people recognize, and it says ad up there. Right. Um, but this is if somebody's doing a search for coffee, um, we can have you know a YouTube video related to coffee pop up right in the search results. And a lot of people like to click on the videos, see what the videos are before they'll click on an actual text link website. So yeah, that's very interesting. That's beneficial. Have you, uh, and, and I have not yet, I, I want to dig into this, but have you noticed on Facebook that they're now doing pre or mid, um, mid yes. video ad? Yes. So I have not actually um, placed one of those yet. Yep. Um, but I have noticed some videos that I watch have that mid roll in there. What do you think about that? I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Um, you know, the capability's been there for years to do something like this, but okay. to me, I would rather sit through a pre-roll and let's, watch a video than have my video interrupt. Let's talk about from a, a user perspective versus a marketing perspective. So you as the user don't like that experience. Right. I don't either. From a marketing perspective, what do you think about that? I think same thing. I think people won't find, I think there's going to be less value in that mid-roll video than there is a pre-roll because to me when I watch those videos as a, you know, as a consumer, yep. um, watching these, um, most of the videos aren't worth my time to sit through that. So I just keep scrolling. I was with Gina yesterday. Thank you for coming to Do You Live and it was great to meet up with you. Eska, thanks for dropping by. Hi Janine, how you doing? Anyway, we are with Valley Digital Services, Andrew DePaulo. We're talking a little bit about Facebook marketing, some of the bundle packages they have to offer. Um, so here's what, you know, here's what I think, and this is what my webinar is basically based off of. So last year, Web 2.0 marketing is based upon a hub and spoke model, the web. Um, you put your website in the middle, you put out content on RSS, email, social media, um, traditional media, mm -hmm. you know, radio, newspaper, and you wanna push everybody back to your website. And what I believe is that creates an ADD of the web. So you start reading an article, you never finish it, yeah. you got five tabs open. There's definitely value from an SEO perspective to have that linking strategy, but at the end of the day, the end user experience is absolutely horrible. So I've gotten to this mindset where I wanna let people digest the information on the platform that they're on in their fullest capacity and not worry about them actually hitting a link to come over to my website. So if you're on LinkedIn, you can read the entire article that I publish right on LinkedIn. You don't need to come to my website. Yeah. And what I've noticed over the past year in doing that is that the amount of direct traffic has increased, um, the amount of overall traffic has increased, the time spent on web has increased, page views has increased, and I attributed a lot of that growth to that strategy and we've also had a 30% decrease in social media traffic because I've took it, taken out the links. Mm -hmm. And so there are going to be different types of content that require a call to action. But I agree with you that I think that that mid-roll ad is incredibly, um, it, it's going to have, you, you're going to have, you have to pay attention to it, mm -hmm. okay? so. It, because it, but on the same note, it's so disruptive to the experience yeah. that I just, I'm very turned off by it right now. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure it'll change in the next few years, the way that it works and the way that people consume and they'll just maybe get more used to that, but. You know, think about this for a second. So you watch a TV show and if you're, you're still, if you're not streaming in the streaming economy that we live in and you're watching a, a, you know, a TV show, um, say you're watching Sunday Night Football on WFMJ. Yeah. <laughs> and there's, there's a timeout, Steelers. right? And there's yeah. a timeout, yeah. and you get a commercial. Right. You get a commercial break. Right. We now come to this point on Facebook because everything's so immediate and micro content that even a, a 30 second video will have an interruption mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. a, an ad placed in it for five seconds. It's, that's, the, it's, that's the world that we're living in now. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, and I guess, you know, whenever it's on TV, people don't really think about that they know that that's going to be there but when you're on the web I don't know that it's assumed that you want to see this you know interrupting what you're watching and it also speaks to, to the opposite of like kind of the inbound marketing strategy where you know you want to present value um, you want 
people coming and and engaging with your brand in the non-disruptive way. You know, we've gotten away from the the the, the phone call, and we've gotten away from this these the traditional disruptive tactics. But and Facebook has enabled that. But now they're actually contributing to the disruptive nature of marketing and advertising. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. I'll tell you what would be very interesting is when I test that. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going to test it. Okay. Yeah, I'm a, absolutely. I know. I, I, and like I said, I don't have experience, you know, placing them. Um, so I'd be interested in seeing. Don, thanks for dropping by. Don, thanks for dropping by. Uh, Deanna says she's not a fan. And Don says most times I will leave yeah. a video if the ad interrupts the video. But yeah, that's what I said. It's just not, the video is not worth it. Pre-rolls, pre-roll is interesting. I think that else. I think that it works. I think pre-roll. I, I think pre-roll works. Um, I had somebody a few years ago. They were coming out with some technology to post-roll. Mm. <laughs> I was like, I was like, um, how can you make somebody stay there to watch to watch that? Yeah, that that's was. What, that's what the hard time I had as a marketer is. How can I sell this to somebody? I can't guarantee that these people aren't going to click right off of it before you. Start. Well, the eyeballs, and and so this yeah. kind of comes back to you. so here's here's a good reason to attend the webinar next on the 28th, and then I'm actually going to be talking about this in person on the 29th um, in a more just interactive discussion. Um, so the way so the way that we measure, and, and we're guilty of this as well. You know, do you live delivers on our entire digital ecosystem 120 to 150 thousand impressions each month, mm -hmm. and that's typically how we've always. Uh, measured awareness and marketing is that and the fact that then we want to go to we want to go out to our sponsors and our clients and we want to say look here's how much awareness we've created 120,000 impressions this is how many people have seen you and and, right. and from being on the do you live marketing show and being in, in included in the strategy it's it's created awareness right. and then we start to also measure the click Throughs. Like here, oh, it must be working because people are clicking and they're clicking, and we can show people that it's a tangible thing that the billboard was never able to show people. Yep. Um, but I, I, I put the emphasis. I, I like kind of value those, but I really put the emphasis on okay, what does the real conversion look like? And unfortunately, that's not as immediate of a measurement as a lot of people would like. Right. Now, I know with Facebook ads, you can insert a conversion tag in there, but that's usually really only for if you're selling a product. So fa the Facebook pixel will give you a lot of good, yeah. good information about um, where they came through, where they're clicking on, are right. they coming to your website, and I think that you get a lot of the same information with Google Analytics as well. Right. Um, I think that the, the fact of this too is that everybody wants the magic bullet. So what activity was the that converted the call and the really the, at the end of the day I know this from my own perspective even with do you live like I'll ask people all the time like how did you end up signing up for do you live and it's like well I saw Facebook and then I saw Instagram and then yeah. my friend told me about it and then I think I came to your website and I got an email that I saw you speak yeah. <laughs> and then so and yeah. then I, and, and then I signed up and I'm like yeah. okay so right. which one yeah. do I need to be doing? And that's, you know, that's a, that's a thing I have all the time when I'm out there, you know, talking to people. You know, it's, it takes at least three to five touches, touches by, you know, you know, where you see it, who you hear from before somebody actually takes that action. And yep. that's at least, you know. At um, least. At least. At least. Like, I, I mean, I could tell you, I could tell you that, you know, I mean, the, 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 the seven, eight, ten times. The 140 episodes, the, the 180,000 video views, like, I mean, the constantly doing this, the overnight success of delivering mm -hmm. Facebook Lives over the course of the last year, it's taken that long for people out there to actually say now, like, I see this on a consistent basis, um, and it takes time, but if you're willing to commit to the strategy, which is also another good thing here, yeah. right? Yeah. So a 15 to 30 day sprint, with the Facebook and YouTube bundle is going to give you an offset. Yeah. It's going to give you some instant gratification mm -hmm. and then it's going to help you build long-term success exactly. as well. Exactly. And that's what we want to do. We want to show you, hey, this works. And then we can, you know, we extend the length there um, because we know, you know, like um, we are talking about working out. You work out one time, 
great. You feel great that day. <laughs> but, you know, if you don't keep it consistent, you know, over months and, and years. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's the end of the road. <laughs> so, Valley Digital Services, Facebook and YouTube bundles, hit to valleydigitalservices.com. Um, they are a year-long sponsor of Do You Live. We are very appreciative of that. Um, thank you, Andrea, for, for being on today at Thanks Brand Street. Me. But we're not done. No. You know we've always got <laughs> fun, interesting questions yeah. to yeah. wrap things up with. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay. So, uh, think crayon box. What color would you be in the crayon box and why? What crayon would you be? Well, I love pink. Pink. So I would go with pink. I feel pink. like I have a pink personality. Let's say that you walk, you, you walk out of here, you win $50 million on the lottery today. What's the first thing you do? Uh, I would probably call my husband. Okay, call, call, <laughs> call. First thing is call him and let call him Call Andrew. Know. And um, then what? I don't know. I mean, I guess I always donate. I would donate some back, obviously. I'm near and dear to my heart, animal charities you know, all around the area here. Um, and then, you know, obviously take care of friends, family, ourselves. So. That's my answer. Not good that's answer. A, no, no, no. That's a great answer. That's a very, very altruistic, like, you, you're, yeah. that's a sweet thing. Yeah. That's good. I what would you do? will finish the kitchen. start. <laughs> yeah, finish the kitchen. I will start calling friends and family and tell them that, um. That we have a net. Sh we have a. I have. A, I have a plane waiting. I, you need to come to the Pittsburgh airport. I have a net jets. That's all I'm gonna say. That's like wow. the code. That's the code. That's cool. And and here's That's the cool. deal. Some people are gonna be like, I don't have the time. Mm -hmm. And other people are gonna You're get. Right. On, other people are gonna get on that plane. And the people that get on that plane, I'm gonna take care of. And the rest of the people, when we get back, we didn't have time. that didn't get on time, yeah. have the time to get on the net jets. They're like, hey, you didn't have the time. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's rough. That's a little hardcore, but, and then we'll obviously, we'll, we'll take care of people. Anyway. All of uh, Dennis's friends and family. Yeah, we're going to just, Watch out. it's going to be like, <laughs> it's going to be like the Snoop Dogg playing. Uh, yeah. Make sure you always have time for him. Friends, too, and family. All right, mixtape, Pandora or Spotify? Actually, I have to default to Apple Music here. Whoa. I, What's going on with that? I just bought Apple Music. Okay. Um, I tried it when they had the free trial, I think it was last year, and just kind of did Pandora in the meantime. And I'm like, you know what? I don't have time for this. I want to hear what music I want to hear when I want to hear it. So I pay for Apple Music. I like it. It's very customizable. I play it in my car. Um, works great for me. Cool. What's your pooch going to say about you if we ask for a reference? <laughs> Depends on which one. I oh, have really? two. Yeah, I have two now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have um, a little girl, Bichon uh, Nimbus, and then we just rescued a little shih tzu named Daisy. Um, and Nimbus is, uh, she's more of the... Which one did you rescue? Daisy, the shih tzu. How long have you had it? We, had, we got her in August. Okay. So... Fairly recently. Fairly recently. She's the little lover, though. She'd be the one who, who would say, she's a great, fantastic. Nimbus, our other dog, she might be a little harsher. I will tell you that when <laughs> there's a noticeable difference between the dog that I rescued yeah. and the dog that um, I got as a puppy. Yeah. Like, the dog that I rescued, like, would never leave my side. Right. The dog that we had as a puppy feels a little entitled. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I completely agree. I always tell, you know, my little rescue Daisy, I say, Make sure you tell Nimbus how good she has it. I and I would because we got her as a puppy and raised her, and yeah, it's all about her. I feel like Hooper would have mixed reviews about his, his and I relationship. <laughs> yeah, but he's only nine months. Oh wow! Well. So he's entering time seven. He's seven, so he's not quite a teenager. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna put you on the spot for this one. This okay. one's always difficult. If you have a client that is in that in that area then you could decline. Oh. Best pizza in Youngstown. Okay. So, this depends on my mood in the day. That's good. Number one, if I'm down, I work downtown, so I love Avalon. Avalon has the best fried hill pizza. But, if I'm at home, we always go to Coca's, because it's right near us. Um, but I don't think I've ever had a bad slice of pizza. So. Not in Youngstown. <laughs> no. No, really. Not, I, mean, I mean, there are pizza deserts out there, yeah. and this is not one this of them. And it's like religion bad. here, and that's why we asked yeah. that question, yeah. because... It invokes so much controversy and, and response. Because you don't want to, you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. If you've not, if you've Mine's not, convenience. It is over convenient. anything. Yeah. But I have certain spots. 
everywhere I'm at. If you have not figured out how to use recommendations, which is artificial intelligence, on Facebook, and you want to figure out how that works, and you want to get a lot of responses, go to your Facebook page and, and type in, anybody have a recommendation for best pizza yeah. in Youngstown? And you will have a thousand oh, people yeah. Oh, yeah. immediately. Yeah. Absolutely. Anyway. My husband loves Wedgwood, so I'll throw that out there. Nice. How about Roxbury? Oh, have you had it? I love Roxbury. Absolutely. But it's not it. like we can just drive down the road and get it. You know, when it's there at the you know festivals and stuff, we always get it. So. Right. Events. Yeah. Yeah. So we get it there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we, there's not one that we don't like. La Rocca's? I've never been. Oh, well, you got to try La Rocca's. I've never been. I know. Everybody Alton? keeps telling me. Umpton is okay. <laughs> Umpton is good. I'm a big fan. I'm more, the thing is, I'm more of like a white pizza fan. Cut. I don't like the red sauce, but I do like Avalon Spire Hill. So I'm more particular. Gia's make pizza? Gia's, yeah, Gia's pizza is fantastic. Yeah. I will say that. Yes, my parents get it for every big gathering. I shouldn't say big gathering. We just have a big family. So anytime we're all together, we get all the Gia's. And then um, my, I have a family member that's been blowing up Uncle Tony's. Next to Stone Fruit. I've heard of that, yes. I haven't been there yet, though. Have to give me a try. I, yeah, I've heard some people really like it, so I'll have to go there. We don't get paid to endorse any of these places. We just <laughs> like pizza. Anyway, thank you for dropping by the yeah. DLive Marketing Show today. Keep in mind, year-long sponsorships are currently open. Um, we'll be finalizing those on November 1st. There's a webinar next Thursday on web marketing. Check out Valley Digital Services. Andrea, thank you so yeah, much for dropping by. For Very me. much appreciate it. We'll see you all.